hi guys welcome back to queen varieties channel in today's episode you will learn how to make a three ingredient butter cookies recipe using the oven and no oven method of preparation this is also an eggless choco chips butter cookies recipe and for those of you who don't like eggs trust me you're going to enjoy this crispy crunchy outcome don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get instant notifications whenever i upload any video kindly share my video with your friends loved ones or anybody you want to share it with thank you okay guys so first of all i'm going to introduce you to the ingredients i have them um, butter you can use margarine as substitute this is some um, softened butter what i'll do now is to open it up and scoop it right inside this place you are going to beat this um, butter for exactly maybe 3 minutes, okay? You want the appearance of the butter to become whitish in nature. For the next step, I'm going to introduce the sugar. To do that, I brought out my sieve because we're going to sieve it. And for this recipe, I'm using 1 cup of sugar. And this is the powdered sugar if you don't have the powdered sugar you can as well use the granulated one but you have to mix extra time we are going to combine the sugar and the butter together right, change to my spatula so i'll be using the spatula now to combine it we are going to add the flour for this recipe i'm using two cups of all-purpose flour i'll combine that step by step at the same time i have corn flour here so i'll add it this is where one fourth cup of corn flour just to make the outcome of the biscuits to be crispy in nature if you don't have the corn flour, you can replace it with um, just extra one fourth cup of flour. My hands are properly clean, so I'm going to use my hands now to combine it. Okay guys, so you have to use your hands and gather the dough very well. What we're targeting is a soft dough. If you look at the dough right now, you see how soft it is. So now the dough is formed, I'll transfer it to the wet surface here. So I'll just knead this dough for only one time. Just push it out like this. You see that? And that's it. Alright, I'm going ahead to divide the dough here into two segments. Segment is bigger than the other one. Here, I'll place it back to the bowl here. I'm going to add some little quantity of um, chocolate um, chips inside it. Just uh, one tablespoon of um, chips. And then I'll fold it into the dough. At this point in time, you can go ahead and roll out your dough immediately and bake. So, um, for me, I love to put it inside the freezer of so I'll use it plastic wrap or you can use a cling film okay so into the freezer i'll be leaving this for 10 to 15 minutes of preparation here we are going to create the chocolate flavor yes so we are going to basically repeat the same ingredients that uh, we use but with the exception of a uh, very few that i'll be introducing all right in this glass here i've got um, 250 grams of butter and for this recipe i'm using a uh, one cup of sugar with extra four to five tablespoons So for this, I'm having here two cups of flour. At the same time, I have some unsweetened cocoa powder, and this is one fourth cup of um, cocoa powder. Four 
four teaspoons of vanilla aroma if you're using the extract just use two teaspoons of um, extract sorry i almost forgot my baking powder <laughs> one teaspoon of baking powder The outcome of the dough is a little bit um, too soft. I have here an extra flour I have placed. This is one fourth cup of flour. I will just um, sieve that. I'm going ahead to add some corn flour. I want the corn flour to give it a little base, just like we did with the butter flavor. If you don't want to add the corn flour, just add extra little flour. Having achieved the perfect dough, I'll transfer to my wet surface now. And like we did earlier on, I'm going to knead it. This I will do twice. Just so that the corn flour I added last will incorporate um, inside the dough. I'm going to divide this dough into two segments. I'm going to add um, one tablespoon of... Um, Chocolate chips and Go ahead, like I said earlier on, and form your dough, your cookies and bake But like me, I always like to leave it in the fridge for extra 10 to 15 minutes to firm up a little bit before I continue About 15 minutes time and the first set of dough we placed in the fridge or freezer is ready So I'm bringing it out now so that um, We'll start working with it. Over there is my baking tray lined with some baking paper. So here is the dough, guys. Here I've got my cookie cutter. So I'm just going to select the size I want. Right, I'm going for something a bit uh, bigger in size. So now we are going to roll out the dough. And just to make sure I have a beautiful appearance, I'll place a baking sheet at the surface. It's very important just so that um, your dough will not be sticking to the rolling pin. And because it's coming from the fridge or freezer, you notice the dough now is easier to work with, okay? So I'm going to use my cookie cutter to just then um, get some cuts. So once you're done, you're going to carefully lift it up. So this is what you continue to do until you have rolled everything out and then we'll bake. first segment is ready i'm going to transfer this to my preheated oven at 150 degrees celsius because i don't want the butter to begin to melt i'm going to bake for 15 to 20 good minutes So the chocolate one is also ready. At this point in time, I'll be transferring it to the oven. While I'm going ahead to bring out the other one in the oven because it is... Alright friends, it's been about 15 to 20 good minutes now. And the first cookies we placed in the oven is completely ready. Just in case you're not sure whether yours is ready or not, just take a good look at the sides. Notice the sides are golden brown in appearance. Time the cookie is still soft, so you're going to give it some time to cool down completely, and then you will get that crispy, crunchy effect. So look at how beautiful they turned out. Just take a good look at the cookies. This is perfect for the season. You can make it for your guests, your friends, anyone you want to make it for, okay? Yes. You can see my pot is preheating. 
what you see right inside that pot now is some quantity of salt let me bring you closer so that you will see it. it's not important to use salt okay yes it's just um, optional you can just leave your pot empty preheating the salt for just then um, 10 good minutes on low to medium heat That's the remaining portions of the dough remember the ones that uh, we cut out from each segment of the dough yes so just like what we did earlier on we are going to repeat the same exact step I'll carefully lift the dough and then join it with the chocolate flavor. Okay, so I'm going to fold the dough together. I'll divide it into two segments. I've gone ahead to grease my pan and I've placed baking paper inside it. It's optional. You just rub some little quantity of um, butter or oil at the base of your pan, just like when you're making cake. Okay guys, so this is the appearance that we are having right now. Just take a good look at what we have there. The pot has been heating for like 10 to 15 minutes. So in case the pot you're using is deeper, all you have to do is to put um, a rack inside it. The size of pot I'm using is very okay because um, the edges are going to hold my pan. This pan is not sitting at the base of the pot. The edges of the pot is preventing it from sitting at the base. So please make sure that your pan is not sitting at the base. It's very, very important. Otherwise, your cookies will burn. So instead of that, you can use a rack like this to prevent it. We're going to cover the pot now and bake for 30 good minutes. Back is exactly 40 to 45 minutes later oh this is what we are having guys did you see that steam <laughs> it's almost getting burnt i have to be fast so this is the appearance of the cookies it's ready you can see that brownish color at the sides okay that's an indication that it's super super ready i'll go ahead now and remove it from the heat Look at it. <laughs> oh my god, my kids are jumping around the corner waiting for these biscuits. Okay, so I'm going ahead to show you the outcome of the entire recipe. I'm going to break it up to show you the outcome. That's our beautiful cookies. And guys, this is my favorite. <laughs> this one here. Oh Thank my you God, so I much for it. joining me in today's episode. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, kindly like, share this video with your friends, loved ones, or anybody you want to share it with. Please, please share this video, okay? Because when you share it, many more people will come to my channel. Until I come your way next time. Bye.